I created this character in Icon 7. We're gonna import this animation into Construct 3. What is up guys, welcome to another video, my name is Sparkman and so today we're going to create some sprite animations in Icon 7 Ok so let's open uh, Icon 7 If you don't have Icon 7 you can download it from their website The link is under the description below You can download the free version, try it out After this we're going to import these animations into uh, Construct 3 Ok so let me just close this Let's go to Actor and uh, we're gonna go to characters and uh, we're going to pick the knight ok, we always use the knight for some reason now, if you've never used icon 7 before, check out my video about uh, icon 7 first look yeah, so this is icon 7 I'm, hold I'm holding alt and right click to rotate ok now I could get a side view like this for my game or I can simply go to view uh, left ok, that's probably better now we don't want the shadow shadows or display and turn off the shadows you can shade it if you want to I think it looks better like this alright and uh, I'm gonna use the uh, motion puppet yeah, let me see, uh, we're gonna use a Mew male running and you can preview this Whoa, it works right away. I kind of like that already. Uh, you can um, adjust these settings if you wanted to. You don't have to. You can exaggerate it. So I'm going to hit the record button. Should be enough. Close this. And uh, let's go back to frame one. There is his foot to be able to loop that I think it's around there I think it's frame um, 47 uh, to test it out you can simply click on the uh, loop button and press play and that looks not too bad there so let's export this I'm gonna go to render video and I'm going to render an image sequence I'm going to make sure that this is a PNG uh, what is my... Uh, let me see oh wait a second we have to export this as a sequence now for the range we want this to be from uh, 1 to 46 uh, the frame rate um, 30 frames per second uh, let's try 24 I already got a folder here called uh, running animation I'm just gonna call it uh, running. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. What happened here? 300 by 250. I'm gonna press the export button. Actually, we should get rid of this first. Press the uh, export button again. Call it running. There we go. So now we're gonna open a uh, construct frame. Now, if you don't have a construct frame, don't worry about it. Just go to uh, construct.net. You can use the uh, free version. So let's go new project. I'm gonna call this uh, animation. Press the create button. I'm gonna right click and uh, let's insert a new uh, sprite. Let's import the sprites. I'm gonna hold shift and uh, I'm going to press the last frame to import all my frames. Delete the first one. And uh, let's call it uh, stop. The animation speed to uh, to 10 and press the loop button preview, preview the animation ok that's a little too slow set that uh, to 24 frames per second so that looks not too bad there clone this duplicate we just call this uh, walking Now for the first frame, let me delete all these frames. This is going to be our first frame. So let me just uh, close this. 
Nah, he's a little too big, but uh, we're gonna fix that later. So, if you run this now, you're gonna notice that uh, nothing happens. Let me give this guy a uh, behavior. He's going to be a uh, platform object. I'm going to insert a new um, background. And of course, it's going to be purple. That is our background. Now, remember our guy now is a uh, platform object. Okay, so if you run this, it's uh, going to have gravity now. So which means that we have to make this a, uh, a solid object. So go to behaviors and make it a solid object. So now our player should uh, be able to walk on this uh, on this box here. Let's go to events, add a new event, and uh, we're gonna check that our character is on the ground, is on the floor. Add a new condition, and uh, we're gonna check that our character is moving. So if this happens, we want to change the animation sequence to uh, walking. Add a new event. If our character is not moving, all you have to do is um, invert it. Then we can change the animation sequence to stop. There we go. Try it out. And that seems to work not too bad. Now we just have to flip him uh, horizontally. Let's insert a keyboard object. Where's my keyboard? Here we go. Back to events. If the user presses uh, the left key, then we can flip our uh, sprite. Set mirror. Copy this, paste it, and uh, let me replace this for right. And uh, we're gonna set this uh, to not mirror. Turn it out. And that seems to work fine. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Alright, guys, so don't forget to check out uh, Spark 2. Make sure you network with other uh, YouTubers. See you in the next video. The bushy tail, the big teeth, the hooves. Okay, my producer just told me that this is not a horse. It's a trap. Be careful, it's a trap! Move it, Fox is right behind you! Oh wait, that's Star Fox. Like the video and subscribe.